Hello, and welcome to the first podcast in the series on the care of the post-operative patient. My name is Mark Barry, and I'm a resident in general surgery. And I'm Dr. Kim, one of the colorectal surgeons here at UCSF and San Francisco VA. The goal of this podcast is to show you that caring for a patient after an operation really isn't that complicated. We want you to be able to take a step back and see the bigger picture before you get drowned in the details. It sounds obvious, but operations are invasive and they hurt people. We cut, burn, crush human tissue. You know, of course, the ultimate goal is to treat illnesses and make people better, but initially we cause injury. Um, So a recovery from surgery is mostly about healing from the injury that's sustained during the operation, and our role is to support these patients as they get better. So this seemingly simple job can be overwhelming because you have a lot of information that you have to gather and process. You have Mm -hmm. the vital signs, labs, x-rays, and consults, and all that other stuff. Yeah, and it's true that there there can be a lot to process, but you do get better with time. You know, it's important, though, to identify who's recovering well versus who's having problems. Um, and I have to, you know, remind Just you that, like that taking care of patients yeah, who are not doing well is not, you know, not necessarily simple. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Okay, well, so to help you, we'd like to introduce two practical concepts that you can use to become a better, maybe a competent intern. <laughs> Okay, so the first is idea of trajectory, and it's the idea that each type of operation has a pretty typical expected trajectory of recovery. This means that we can expect a certain average length of stay, certain um, milestones that has to be achieved for going home. Like eating and pooping on colorectal surgery. Right, and then secondly, uh, that complications that derail the uh, recovery process, there are only a handful of them, they're not that many. And by knowing what the early signs are for these type of complications, you'll be more than ready to be a great intern. Yeah, and I, th- I think practically speaking, when our patients complain of something like shortness of breath, our differential is much narrower um, for patients who just had an operation compared to someone who's walking into the ED or on a medical service who could have you know a number of different things going on. Um, so it does make it a little bit easier to figure out what's going on and kind of helps us develop an algorithm for evaluating these patients. Yeah, so I think it's really important as you guys start that before you uh, start your service or at the very least in the first few days or a week, that you should know what the most common compli- uh, excuse me, most common operations that are performed on your service, what the typical course of recovery is, and also what the most common, common and most feared complications are. So as an example, as an illustration, we'll talk about the colorectal surgery uh, service mm-hmm. at Mission Bay, which Mark is on currently. So what are the most common complica- operations that we do, we do here? Yeah, so there's a, there's a good variety here. We have uh, you know, some laparoscopic colectomies, LARs, APRs. There's also you know, open colectomies or smaller procedures. So, so then how would you, is there a way you categorize uh, these type of procedures? Yeah, I mean, for all these bowel surgeries, I generally think of them as you know, lap versus open. Um, and then there's some you know, other components to whether or not they're coming out of the OR with an ileostomy or colostomy. You know, do they have a new anastomosis? Is it protected by an ostomy proximally or not? Um, I think that's a you know an important distinction to recognize. Okay. Well, so and so, what are some of the milestones that your patients have to achieve in order to be discharged, or what are you looking for? Yeah, I mean, some of the you know the if you think about it really basically, are they eating? Are they having bowel function? Are they ambulating? Are they on you know PO pain meds? Okay. Good. And what would you say some of the more common complications are? Yeah, I think, you know, one of the the most common things we'd see, you know, post-op bowel surgery is often ileus, uh, maybe small bowel obstruction, uh, things that are a little more worrisome, or, you know, could they have a leak? Um, Wound infection is fairly common. Um, You know, some other things like PE, maybe a little bit less likely in this population, or MI less likely than you might see in, say, like the vascular patients who tend to be a little bit sicker going into the OR. Okay, great. So after you uh, listen to your uh, this podcast, before we meet as a group, which we will with facilitators from your second and mm-hmm. third year resident group, we'd like you to uh, get an idea for your specific service, what kind of operations are done, what the milestones of recovery are, and what the criteria for discharge are. And who do you think is a good resource, Mark, to try to get this information when they're on the service? Yeah, I'd say definitely the your senior residents, so the you know the R two R three or chief, depending on who's available, and your <laughs> your NPs as well. Right, the NPs can be a great I think resources as well. Anyways, uh, thanks for listening. Yeah, and thank you. There'll be a few more of these coming up. Bye.